I'm Bambi Francisco for Vader TV, the network for innovators. With so many electronics and so much information about them online, there's so much clutter, it's really hard to make a decision. Retrievo hopes to help you make those decisions. Joining me to talk about Retrievo is Vipin Jain. He is the founder and CEO of Retrievo. Vipin, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me here, Bambi. Well, Vipin, we have your, your site behind us, and um, as, I, as I was looking through the site, um, clearly your value proposition is to help consumers find um, the, 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 be the best product for them, de depending on their um, the price range and the features they're looking for, and you have this ranking system. So the first question is: is really what are the factors that go into this ranking system? So, I mean, first of all, uh, Retrievo is about uh, the consumer electronics, and it's not just about shopping, but it's about uh, helping you find the product you want to buy, help you buy the product, and once you have bought the product, help you understand how to use the product, how to fix any issues. So think of this as a comprehensive product information source mm -hmm. that helps you throughout the ownership of these products. So now going back to your question on the shopping site, uh, we came up with a very unique uh, and simplified way of presenting products. So an average shopper can make confident buying decisions. And as part of that, there are two simple ratings that we developed. One is called the value rating, and second is called sentiment. From, th from the community. Mm -hmm. uh, now, we take all the prices mm -hmm. and all the features, all the technologies on all, all the products in a category, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we synthesize all of that mm -hmm. and come up with a very simple value rating. Mm -hmm. And the value rating is simply, if you want to spend a buck mm -hmm. on a video camera, what's the best you can buy for that buck? Mm -hmm. What's the most feature set you can buy for that buck? Mm -hmm. So what's a good bang for the buck? That's what the value rating is about. The sentiment rating is about what do users and experts on the web think about a specific product. Mm -hmm. So we create two very simple ratings. Value rating, that's the factual mm -hmm. price features. What's the best I can buy for a dollar? And one is sentiment, what do people think about this product? And mm -hmm. combine these two left brain, right brain, mm -hmm. you can make a very very quick and very, very confident buying decision about products. Right. Now, it's clear that, you know, in the old days, if you can call sort of CNET and Amazon review, sort of the old days, I, I, I would look on Amazon electronic reviews and CNET's electronic reviews or comparison shopping sites. So I see the difference. I see what you're, you're providing. But one company that's somewhat similar that's definitely going out there and aggregating reviews is uh, consumer reviews is wise.com. Do you see them as a competitor? Sure, anybody who is uh, helping consumers shop for products is, is a competitor. How are you different from WISE or how, would, how do you produce a better um, uh, sort of, I guess, suggestion? So a lot of companies help you uh, with aggregated user reviews. Now, that is only one dimension in your buying cycle. That is, that's only one piece of inform information that consumers use to make a decision. The other piece is, how do I know if this is a good, good product or not? Mm -hmm. Because you might have 10 different products that have been rated highly by the users, but that does not help me make a decision about a specific product. So what we have done is we go much beyond the user reviews. We not only aggregate user reviews, we aggregate all the expert reviews, and we synthesize all of that information into the community sentiment rating, mm -hmm. uh, which sure, there are many other players who might claim that they mm -hmm. do some or all of it. Mm -hmm. But the second thing that's very unique is the value rating. Mm -hmm. Nobody in the industry tells you today what's a good bang for the buck. Mm -hmm. Value rating is very unique to Retrievo because we use uh, artificial intelligence and we use very sophisticated algorithms behind the scenes mm -hmm. uh, to synthesize all the product information to come up with a factual value rating as well as sentiment rating. Mm -hmm. So you can make an informed decision. Now, so. do you also, I'm sure that uh, you, well, actually I haven't gone to the point where I've actually purchased a product, but um, but I, I'm, I imagine that's the way you would measure your success. How many products that, how many, how many products you sell on the site, right? Do you have that number? Yeah, so, so we cover uh, about 200,000 electronics products mm -hmm. uh, that go back seven years because Retrievo is a comprehensive product information source, mm -hmm. right? So 
there are more than 40,000 electronics products uh, announced every year. Mm -hmm. There are more than a billion electronics products sold every year. Mm -hmm. uh, Retrievo is the most comprehensive, most objective, because all the all the analysis, all the recommendation, all the ratings that you see on Retrievo, they are yeah. all algorithmic. Okay. So it's the most comprehensive product information source, most objective information source, and it's most real time. Right. Retrievo so is how the many, only place so how many products have you sold? Well, so how many products have you sort of generated, been a lead generation for? I mean, close to, I, yeah, so close to 70,000 products that so are actively selling. So do you get a piece of that? Is that your business model? Yeah, so we use CPC model, so cost per click. So that is whenever we send a lead to a merchant, we get paid. And how much do you get paid on average? It depends. Uh, for electronics, it can range depending on the category and the product. It can range from 20 cents to a buck per lead. Okay. What is the key to becoming sort of the leading provider of uh, product rec recommendations? The first and foremost thing is how do you establish your objectiveness and trust with the consumers? Mm -hmm. So many people will claim they can give you a recommendation, mm -hmm. but what what gives the consumer the confidence mm -hmm. that your recommendation is uh, is the most objective uh, and most unbiased, and it is that you're working for the consumers and not for the merchants who are trying to sell you the product. Are you a destination site, or do you have partnership with partnerships with? We are a destination site, uh, and we have a lot of interest from a variety of partners who want to take retrieval experience and distribute that to their audience. So we will pursue distribution partnerships, okay. but everything is going to be uh, retrieval branded. Uh, so the, for the funding process, can you give us some background on where you are with the funding and how much you have to raise if you, if you are looking for anything today? So retrieval, we have taken 12 million in funding, uh, 4 million in the first institutional round, and 8 million in the second institutional round. Uh, and we have enough money uh, to last for two years, and and take us to break even. So in two years, break even. Two years. Uh, before the end of next year, we want to break even. Okay. Well, the best of luck to you, Vipin. I've been speaking with Vipin Jane. He's the founder and CEO of Retrievo. I'm Bambi Francisco.